two toilets, three fans. I've never installed more fans than toilets in a tiny house, let alone any house. Two trailers making one house. There's two fans here because the shower itself has eight different water jets from all different angles and it's gonna create a lot of moisture inside this house. And then over here is just our simple powder room. This needs to go back in the box. That's all we need. I hate nailing these boxes up. I always hit my fingers or I'll slip with a drill or whatever. Oh yeah, look at those tabs. So those tabs center it up for a half inch piece of drywall. Then I'll come back and I'll put some screws in. But this way, you put a couple nails in there. If it needs to be moved later, you can do that. So one of the things that I like about this fan is it's got a four inch vent and the fan itself is an 80 CFM fan. So that little baffle, it slides in there like that, and then it gets a screw. I like to use steel piping when doing my exhaust vents. I don't like to use flex. All right, so I got everything installed now and I'm left with a trim cover and an LED light. This LED light is pretty powerful. It's got a heat sink on the back of it. It's gonna snap into the cover once everything's complete. It's a nice, sleek, clean design. It's gonna sit pretty flush to the ceiling up here. Make sure to insulate around the fan if it's gonna be in an area in an attic because if you don't, it will condensate in the winter you will get rain or what will appear as if your roof is leaking through the vent. Um, the fan, I'm actually gonna unplug it and leave it unplugged until the very end of the job as well because I don't want the drywallers to turn this fan on, suck a bunch of dust into here and cause a bunch of problems. That's my extra tip. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.